Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to write a Python program to verify given number is a unique number or not. First, let me discuss what is a unique number. A number is said to be unique number if and only if the individual digits are unique. There should not be any duplicate digits in the given number. If so, I can say it is a unique number. Else, I will say it is not a unique number. Let me take an input 1, 2, 3, 4. What are the individual digits? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many times 1 is there? Only once. How many times 2 is repeated? Once. 3, once. 4, once. So, all the digits are unique. So, I can say 1, 2, 3, 4 is unique number. Similarly, if I take 88, okay. Now, what are the individual digits? Only 8 and 8, okay. Now, how many times 8 is there? 2 times. So, I can say 88 is not a unique number, okay. Similarly, if I take 5, 6, 7. Now, what are the individual digits? 5, 6, 7. How many times 5 is there? Once. 6, once. 7, once. So, I can say 5, 6, 7 is a unique number. Okay. I hope you have understood what is a unique number. Now, let me write the Python program for it. First, I will ask the user to enter the input. Okay, so let me write n is equal to int of input because input function will be useful for you to read the input from the user and the input function will return everything in the form of a string. However, I want to convert the number into an integer. So that's why I'm doing the type casting. Then I will write x is equal to n. Then I will take a empty list and I will write while x greater than 0 okay i need to append the individual digits in the list so i will write rm is equal to x modulus 10 then l dot append so you have an append method to insert the element in at the end in the list so which element i want to in append the element which is there in the rem variable then i need to reduce the x value so x is equal to x floor division 10 then i will write a for loop for i in list l then i will write if l dot count of i is greater than 1 because if any element is repeated more than once then i can say it is not a unique number so i will write print okay n is not a unique number is not a unique number and i need to write a break statement here then i will write else because here i am writing the for else not the if else so i will write print n is a unique number n is a unique number now let me run this program okay let me give some input 1 2 3 4 which is a unique number okay similarly let me take 1192 1192 is not a unique number because why because 1 is repeated twice so i can say 1192 is not a unique number similarly let me take input 70 8 which is not a unique number oh sorry which is a unique number i am really sorry okay now let me run this program as the user has entered the input as 78 so 78 will be there in the variable called n then what you are writing x is equal to n so x also will get the value as 78 and you have taken an empty list and then you have writing the while loop why there is a condition what is the condition x should be greater than 0 what is the x value 78 is 78 is greater than 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed what is this first statement rm is equal to x modulus 10 what is the x value 78 78 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 8 so rem will have the value 8 then in the list you are appending so currently you have the empty list now you are appending 8 at the last so 8 is only the element is there in the list then x is equal to x floor division 10 what is the x value 78 78 floor division 10 will give you the quotient which is 7 
so that value will be stored in the variable called x so now x is having the value 7 as the statements which are there in the while loop have been completed then again you will verify the condition what is the condition x should be greater than 0 what is the x value 7 is 7 is greater than 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed rem is equal to x modulus 10 what is the x value 7 7 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 7 so that value will be there in the variable called rem then you are using the append method so append method is useful for you to add the element in the list at the last right now you have one element 8 then if you are appending 7 will be also added then x is equal to x floor division 10 x is having the value 7 7 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 0 so x will have the value 0 okay if x is having the value 0 this condition will be false because you have a condition x should be greater than 0 so 0 is greater than 0 no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed the next statement after the while loop will be executed what is the next statement after the while loop you have a for loop what is the for loop for i in list what are the elements are there in the list 8 comma 7 okay so the first element will be stored in the variable called i so i will have the value 8 then you are using a count method for the list it will be useful for you to count how many times a particular value is there in the list look at here i is having the value 8 so you are verifying how many times or you are counting how many times 8 is there in the list called l how many times it is there 8 only once so count will give you the value 1 you are verifying is 1 is greater than 1 no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed then the for loop again iterated next time i will get the value 7 how many times 7 is there in the list called l only one so count method will give you one one is greater than one the condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed all the statements which are there in the for loop has been done because all the elements are done so as the in the for loop the if condition was never successful the statement which is there in the else block will be executed this is the working process of a for else okay if in for loop if you have a if condition if the if condition was not successful at least once then the statements which are there in the else block will be executed what is the statement okay print n what is the value n 78 is a unique number so this is the output you are getting is it clear suppose let's take that user has entered the n value is 88 okay in that case in the list you will have 8 comma 8 initially i will have the value 8 now you are counting how many times 8 is there in the list called l how many times it is there two times so count method will give you the value as 2 is 2 is greater than 1 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed what is the statement print n 88 is not a unique number and break statement so it will come out from the for loop in the for loop there is an if condition which was executed once so the statements which are there in the else block will not be executed so you will get the output as 88 is not a unique number if you want to verify let me give the number as 88 and you got the output as 88 is not a unique number i hope you have understood what is a unique number and how to write a python program to verify whether it is a unique number or not if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day